so this is just a quick walkthrough of um, Tails, the live Debian based operating system. So first thing, when you boot it up you're going to be shown this menu. If you want to um, decrypt it or encrypt the TrueCrypt volume, you want to press tab and just type in TrueCrypt. This will just make it make the um, piece of software available um, on the system, just because they don't fully support it. So they put it as a boot option instead. Tails is a Debian-based system, so it's based on Debian 6.0.7. Um, so it's a pretty stable and secure. Um, uh, distribution, even though it is kind of out, outdated at the moment. Um, yeah, so it's a live system, meaning that it doesn't write anything to your hard drive, or it doesn't um, into your memory swap or swap space, but it does write it to your RAM. So when you unplug your USB, turn the machine off, or eject your live disk that will be completely erased um, hence the amnesic name so this is login screen if you just want to get straight into it you can uh, keep it unknown just press login if you want to do something which is going to require um, root privileges press yes it'll take you uh, forward just type in a password And then you've also got the option to activate Windows XP camouflage. So this is to try and try not to attract attention to your machine. So say if you're in a Starbucks or in a coffee shop and using a Debian based system, it looks completely different to what most people are used to. Um, so it just blends in with the crowd a little bit more. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to run the Debian or the original system just to show you what what it's like so as you can see it's detected that I'm running the system in a virtual machine I wouldn't suggest doing this um, as you can see it's warned me not not to do this but for the purpose of recording the video I've used a virtual machine um, just because you've still got your hard disk running and possibly it could leak into your actual computer. As you can see from uh, when we typed in TrueCrypt on, um, during the boot process, it's appeared in the accessories. That wouldn't normally be there if you didn't uh, press the tab and then enter TrueCrypt. And as you can see, um, they are removing it from, from the package completely. They do have their own inc encryption software, which I'll talk about in a, in a while. but. Um, even though TrueCrypt is open source, I think they've had license problems with the license agreement, so they're removing it from future distributions. Um, this is tail 0 0.20, um, so I'm guess um, 0 0.21, it'll be removed. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a TrueCrypt that you used to. Uh, yeah, but you can create an encrypted volume, etc. So one of the main benefits of this system is that it routes all the network traffic through Tor uh, by default. So as you can see, Validia has just opened up here. Um, you can view network graph if you want to. This is just establishing it, establishing its circuits. Um, Pre-installed, it comes with Ice Weasel, which is a Debian distribution or um, their rebranded re version of Firefox. So if we just open this up, there we go. Um, so if we just type in just check that we are 
connected to the Tor network. And as you can see, that is my IP, so congratulations, we are. So as said before, all traffic is routed through Tor, unless specified otherwise. So not only Ice Weasel, but um, Pigeon Instant Messaging does it, and so does Claws Mail. So for example, I'll show you the Pigeon um, client. So this allows for anonymized messaging through Jabber, um, IRC, ICQ, Google Talk, um, AOL Messenger, if you still use it. So for for example, it comes with um, these chat rooms pre-installed or pre-configured. So we can enter the Tor chat room on IRC. So as you can see, he's entered here. There's 410 people in at the moment, or that have been in it recently. And it just randomizes a name for you. So I'm called Nick Server. Um, yeah, Nick Server or Melon. I'm called Melon. So that's my anonymized name, Melon. Um, not only does Pigeon allow for anonymous communications, it also allows for encrypted communication. So, if the person you're talking to has OTR or off-the-record messaging turned on as, w as well as you, it means that you can um, talk with end-to-end -end encryption, which is obviously more secure than an unencrypted network. So, with Tails being open-sourced, it means that it, it comes with um, open source programs pre-installed so if we go on to what can we see go into office it comes with open office um, the whole open office package pre-installed so you've got writer math and press etc um, so the last thing I'd like to show you is the tails tools that come with the software so the USB installer and um, and the persistent volumes so the volumes you can use um, to save your documents to to securely save your documents to just purely because everything's wiped as soon as you end the session the Tails USB installer because I'm running off a of VM it won't detect any USBs but um, you can update your version of Tails, you can clone it um, so you can either um, copy Tails that you're currently running onto another USB stick or you can upgrade it from a um, ISO image uh, yeah so that's pretty much it and it just allows you to keep up to date and create new USBs So that's it, I hope this video was helpful, just introducing you to Tor, um, introducing you to how it works and some of its basic features. So I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.